Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Arts of Iron 4 as Turkey. Also, the British have immediately landed troops here. Um, well, that's not great. Let's send nine divisions down there. Bulgaria and Greece, they could end up joining one of those factions in the future, but let's not worry about it. Our units are slowly making their way towards Germany. Or towards the coastline here. Our fleet... We don't have access, probably through Gibraltar. Yeah, unfortunately, we actually can't send any uh, ships in that area. Which is, which is not great, I'll admit. How is naval superiority looking? Uh, bad would be the answer to that question. But we'll get those troops there anyways. Actually, you won't deploy here. You will deploy You come down here and I'll actually make you guys into the yellow army. That seems fine. Don't yeah, just don't go there. Yeah, and please strategically redeploy to that territory. How many troops does Britain have? Right now, they have a lot, actually. They have a lot of units. As long as we can kind of keep them contained somewhere, that would be nice for us. And now we're at war with you. We can maybe make some, uh, some pushes. All of my aircraft I want here. Close air support. Please and thank you so we can at least deal with these British troops that decide to, like, to land here. Have they had this naval invasion plan this whole time? No, they probably, no, they invaded this, uh, Italian island. I see. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Bulgaria is joining the Axis. Right now, you know, the Axis are our friends. I'm assuming we probably can't do this because we're not at peace with the British. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. Let's get some Soviet tank factories. We now have... We actually increased our military production substantially. So let's go two light tanks, three on uh, medium, one more on artillery, and then... One more fighter, one more close air support. We are gonna need more equip or more supplies, and I and I understand that. Get yeah, you, I guess, from Vichy, France. We're not gonna be able to build any factories right now, really. Oh yeah, because we have the whole um, recession problem. Why do wait? I'm guessing we don't have high enough war support. Yeah, because we're in offensive war, world tension. Sectarian woes, disorganized armed forces. Okay, so we do have a lot of problems in the country. I will admit that. Do I have enough tr factories to trade with you? Well, I've maybe have made the recession worse, and I understand that could be considered by some to be a, a, a not good thing. Also, there's a lot of Soviet troops making this territory, but there's now a lot of British troops in that province as well. It's like Soviet Union. I, I appreciate how many men you're sending to this front line, but it might be a bit much. 14,000 strength. You're like, no, you've... 5,000 strength here. Is there anywhere you don't have a lot of strength? Probably not, if I take a guess. We'll keep our troops on this front line for now. Okay, Soviet Union, you're sending too many units to this front line, so I'm going to have to try to uh, handle this situation. Yes, yeah, so we got a lot of air superiority. We got a lot of units as well. Like, Britain really is just sending... Uh, what I would say is way too many men to the front. There's a lot of Soviet Unions down here as well. Are supplies okay? Like, supplies are still fine. I almost feel like the Soviet Union... Like, they need another target to not send all their units to this front. What about, like, here? They have a lot of superiority. Can I get military access through you? I can get military access through you. But how does that help us? That's a great question. Um, I mean, I could send some troops to Italy. So it will give me military access. So, like, I could send troops to, like, uh, the Egyptian line here in Africa. But, like, what, is, what does that give us? I honestly don't think much. 
Actually, you have Nail Spear already here. I wonder if I can actually take Gibraltar. But you don't have Nail Spear already in this C-Zone. No, you do. Yugoslavia would you give me military access? You won't. Bulgaria would. So we let's plan a naval invasion, see if we can get this to work. Try not to die. That that's gonna be like my one my one ask of you. Is to not be killed. Like Japan. If Japan were to join the war against the Allies, that would make our life substantially easier. We do need more oil, that's for sure. We can get more oil from um, Hungary joining Axis as well. And the second Vienna award. So Romania probably could Yeah, they're pointing a pro Axis government. I mean, all that's like not great because once. Once uh, we're at war with the Germans, we're going to have a pretty tough time with things. Which is unfortunate. We already have low supplies. What if we send one of you here? I just really want to kick the British out of our provinces. Wait, do you actually have some unassigned divisions? Was I still training up more units? I guess I was. Uh, we will assign you then to... I was going to say the yellow, but that doesn't actually make a lot of sense. You will actually, you know what, you'll be... No. You'll be in a different army. You will be led by you. Don't click that button. It's not like it's a big deal, but just don't click that button. And you are going to defend only port provinces, okay? Any port provinces that we have, I want you to secure. I mean, you don't really need to be on that side of the border, to be honest. So that's your job. Just just make sure the British don't have any naval uh, invasions. And you'll make my life substantially easier. But of course you guys are fighting. It's mountainous. Like once we can get into India. Is the other pretty already here? No. Of course there's more strikes. Could do that one again. I don't want strikes to happen because because the war sport's not high enough, right? And I don't really know what I can do to get my war my um. Can you guys invade? It's considered risky, but if we can land, I mean these are actually Soviet troops as well. If we can take Gibraltar, we can at least get our plane. Oh, what well, we get our um units to leave. The Mediterranean. We won't stop the British from being able to send ships into this location because they still have the Suez Canal, but it should stop them a decent amount. Okay, looks like the AI has no idea about the significant importance of Gibraltar. So one of you guys will stay here. This plan doesn't make any more sense. Why is there five divisions? No, 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 no. You come here. One of you stays in Gibraltar, defends that city. So that we can now send our boats. Right now, send them to do not engage. Send them up towards uh, the French coast. Try not to get sunk. That would mean a lot to me. How do I get. I have no stability right now. Which is, which is really not great. I, I've kind of really screwed up our uh, situation here right now, but that's okay. I'm trying to think, like, what can... I mean, you have four divisions here. Do I have an airport around this location? We have one with 14,000 planes. But you... Maybe from here? Oh, from here you can reach Pakistan. But you actually can't reach it from this location. So if that's the case, then you kind of just got to stay in this airport for right now. Yeah, because we want to take over British, the British Raj. I feel like that's going to be uh, important for us. 
Once again, let's see if we can kick the British out of this location. Our uh, navy is still going up and around. We might as well get... How are you still not strategically re redeploying? That, that's my question. But let's go from Dunkirk to Dover. Because right now... Naval superiority is at 0%. And I don't think I can send planes to German airports, unfortunately. You guys did also take roads, so you actually have way more dockyards than I would like. But if we can take the Suez, the Mediterranean no longer really has much of a risk to it. Okay, we now have an air superiority over you. How much does that affect you, though? Intel advantage, entrenchment, country... Just 600 attack. Like, is my my aircraft not helping out at all? Maybe you know they might only be protecting this one province. They might actually still only protect what's inside their little circle. Support companies, artillery. Oh wait, it's 1940. You know, let's get the 1941 upgrade. I hate all of you. If you were to just die. That would make my life substantially easier. But it looks like you guys have left this territory. Russia, you go do your own thing. Alright. Naval supremacy is scaled to 80% because of low enemy intel. Basically, no strength here. We got a little bit of strength in the North Sea, but that's really about it. Does Germany have a navy? Uh, they do. You guys really just can't take roads. I know it's a straight crossing, which is not great. I'm trying to think, like, Vichy, France, they're not in any faction. Like, do you have no superiority here? No. It's like, we could send troops to this front line. And there is some more naval invasions happening. Of course, now we don't have enough factories for that. I don't like anything that's happening in our country right now. Just, just to be honest. We do have more military factories, so we'll keep on... Do we need rifles? No. We need light tanks, more than anything. So even though we're not going to be making them at the perfect... Uh, speed. Okay, go up here and try to kill off that one British unit. In cooperation with Italy, that's fine. I need you. I mean, what, what do I need you to do? Maybe mechanize, support technology. Let's get some infrastructure. But how do I, how do I boost war support with no, uh, no political power? I don't think we can, and we can't lower it. Cause we can't, like, there's no like. So I think we're gonna take another ten percent penalty to everything. Hey, we did it! Five percent stability. We've addressed the strikes, kind of. Here we go, we got heroes on the home front. Thank you very much. Like I said, I would like to send... Apparently there's air superiority in this region. That's nice. I don't think they have an airport, so that's okay for us. Where do we have low supplies? In Iran. Then delete your plan, because it doesn't make any sense anymore. Just come to back to Turkey for the time being. Because we have right now 13 divisions here. Germany has taken over Norway. I wonder if we can do anything in Sweden. I mean, like, we can't because we have no political power. 
which is not great. We also have no oil, which is also uh, not great. But if we can get more oil per... More fuel per oil, that'd be nice. I think I just have you guys try to attack. And if you ever actually successfully invade... Seventy-five in thirty days. You know what if I don't do anything and just let our political power build up? Cause I, I can't take anything right now. We just we just need more. Ah. Why? I mean I know why this is happening. You know that that's not a question. Okay, so I think the British have landed. Which actually is completely what I want. So, I, I mean, do I want him to do that? Like, actually, do, do go like this. Maybe this makes sense. Yellow Army is now returning back to where they should be. You guys are also going to try to make your way towards this island. And that should be fine. So, we're still about... Because war propaganda is a 50... I, be I believe it's 50, right? Rocks even is it? Yeah, it's not foreign influence. Trotsky survived his assassination attempt. Yeah, no, there it is. It is 50 for weekly war support to go up. Yeah, it's that they, they will not leave the island. We'll keep you guys here. I mean, is they're like bottled up? I, I guess that's okay. You know, the Soviet Union, if you want to keep throwing troops and trying to kill the British in the Raj, I, I won't stop you. I, I don't agree with it, but I won't stop you. My question is, do you think Britain has the oil necessary? Because right now, if you look at their fuel, or not, not that's resistance. If I look at resources, Britain is getting oil... I mean, they're getting oil from Malaysia as well, but they're also getting oil from Iraq. But I have, of course, a non-aggression pact with you. I would really like to attack Iraq to deny British their supply of oil. But I don't think that's going to be happening right now. So I wonder... How much supplies do you think we actually have here? 4 to 17? Let's try... Let's, I'm going to save just in case I lose my entire army. But let's try this. And see if we can push. Britain out of Egypt. Because we can push e oh, not out of Egypt. But mostly let's, let's see if we can take the uh, Suez Canal. I think that's going to make a lot of sense for us. Are you already affecting our ship by 90%. Oh, you said to do not engage. No wonder you're actually not getting anything done. You need to be actually doing something in order to project naval superiority. Yeah, so we're at 30%. No, we're at 22%. If we could... Yeah, if Germany sends more planes here... We can maybe get our naval invasion to work. I'm very stupid. I should have realized that was the problem the whole time. Okay, I think some of our units are being uh, intercepted, but not that many. Again, our job is to push our way towards Cairo. Do you have any resources even here? A little bit of oil. I'll take it. Also, thank you uh, for the two convoys. Okay, we're at 25%, 24%. I would really like a naval invasion to work. We have 14 ships. One day we'll get there. Also, Red, I think you can attack and also be very aggressive with it. There doesn't seem like there's a lot of troops here at all. And Red is... None of, none of Red Army is actually my direct units. So I'm completely okay sending them into the meat grinder. No problems with that at all. It's only a negative 29. How long until the strikes actually hurt us? 51 days. Which is a while, I will admit. Okay, 
Does not have strikes, general strike. What kind of strikes do we have right now? Just regular strikes. I mean, again, it's not great. It's actually very bad. Wow, they really have, like, no units here at all, huh? Let's go to Tobruk. March our way down to Alexandria. Take Cairo. And then, of course, towards the Suez. All of that seems pretty nice for us. Honestly. I don't think there's any way I can, like, passively generate, uh, political power right now, though. What if I actually set you to being, like, engage at high risk? It does not increase how strong we are. So really... Okay, let me, just, let me just double check. I can't send planes here. No. It would really help if I can send my entire air force to uh, help in that fight, but unfortunately that's not the case. Okay, and the British are getting pushed back. Fantastic. I mean, at some point, we are going to have to attack the Italians. Um, because, I mean, the war... We don't know what Germany's doing. Also, did I, have, did I ever build an agency? I didn't. I have no factories to build an agency because everybody... Everybody is striking against us. Okay, we're at 23%. We do want to research more fuel per oil. 12,000 strength. You know what? We might be able... If we go from here to, let's say, there... No, we, we can't cr have it cross the... Um... No matter what, it wants to cross the English Channel, huh? We're also not worth the Irish. Um... I mean, North Sea. Who are you owned by? You're owned by Denmark, who we're, out, we're at war with. I mean, there's no ships here. But I, I think if we can somehow deny Britain their oil supplies, we're going to be looking much, much nicer. Please, yeah, please go towards the Suez. These British units have absolutely no chance of survival. Yeah, no, so actually the, the Egyptian campaign is going completely okay. But I would say that for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching my Zayn Swam. If you enjoyed, bring a thumbs up. If not enjoy, throw your thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.